Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you three different ways to disable the run dialog in Windows 10. That is the Windows key plus R. You're probably familiar with it, obviously, you're here. This will allow you to disable it so you get a message that looks like this, which we'll also show you. So, we're going to go through all three steps. The first one, in my opinion, is your best bet. But if you want to hang around and watch the other two, feel free. So basically, the reg files will allow you to do all the work. I've got them here. There is disable and there is enable. You can double click the file, click yes, and you want to click yes one more time. And you will repeat those steps if you change your mind and decide to enable it. As you can see, 45 seconds into the video, you can't beat that. It's really easy to do. But for those who prefer to do it themselves or see how it's done, we'll go through it. So by the time this video is up, you'll be able to come right here to this page, which will be linked to in the video description and download the file. So let's move on to the registry editor. Win R. Reg edit. R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Click OK. And you want to copy this code right here, this line. Right click and do copy. Come up here. And even though I'm already there, you would clear this out. Press Control V press enter some people will not have the Explorer key if you do not right click on policies and do new key and when it pops up enter Explorer and that key will be there so the next thing you want to do as you can see here we want to right click on this window while you're on the Explorer key you'll do new D word 32 bit value almost always do and we're gonna name it no run so right click new D word 32 bit value no run so now that you have that change the value data to 1 and change it to 2 if you want to change your mind later so go to no run change the value data to 1 click OK that will now stop the run dialog from working but you probably have to reboot I think yeah you have to reboot or log out and log back in for that to work so once again, if you change your mind, there's two choices. One would be to double click this if you want to think you might go back and forth and change it to two. Or if you're pretty sure you're done with it, just click delete or right click delete. If you created the Explorer key, you could probably delete that as well. That's up to you. But that's an easy way to do it without causing any problems. And of course, if you want to do it this way, back your registry up just in case. So there is two out of the three. Let's look at Group Policy Editor. Once again, you have to have Windows 10 Pro. If you have Windows 10 Home, you can enable it. I don't know if I put a link in here or not. I might have. I usually do. Yeah, right here near the top under this picture. You can follow this link and you can run this PowerShell batch file. And there's a video for that as well. I really love enabling Group Policy Editor on Windows 10 Home because it's just great. All right, let's go. Easier than the registry. How's that? So what we want to do is we want to open Group Policy Editor, Windows Key Plus R, GP Edit. Oh, yeah, let's make typos. GP, <laughs> I'm only on two cups of coffee, man. MSC, go ahead and click OK and the Group Policy Editor will open. We want to go right here, User Configuration, here. Administrative Templates, Start Menu and Taskbar. Now, List by settings. So click the setting so it's alphabetical and you want to find remove run from the start menu. So let's find that. Easier if it's alphabetical. Right there. So double click it. Your explanation is always here in group policy editor. Almost everything in GP edit is not configured. So you can enable and as you can see it will remove it from the start menu. So if you click enable you can remove it click apply click OK and watch this there you go another nice thing you don't have to reboot you know you got it right go ahead and switch it back to not configured apply OK and my run dialog is back so that's a neat way to do it as well but once again your easiest bet will be to grab these reg files which I'm uploading as soon as I'm done with this video so there you go there you have it that's how to disable the run dialog in Windows 10 as always 
The Major Geeks logo should be appearing right down here in the bottom right hand corner. If you click on that, you can subscribe to Major Geeks. We try to do two, three videos a week, sometimes five, sometimes one. Yeah, we're real consistent like that. So, but we would appreciate your follow. And thank you for watching, and hopefully, we'll see you again soon.